I'm not getting hacked into. I haven't been getting hacked into in basically months, every now and then. Um, but it's as far as, and if anybody wants to know how to hack, please contact me. Today we're talking about Libya. Libya is a failed state. Um, Britain attempted to implement a bourgeois government. And last September, this group called the Houthi rebels that are supposedly a link to Iran. Here's a country that clearly understands that they are the next target. Demise and utter destruction of their neighboring countries around them, but yet somehow they are to blame for it. Anyway, this group that's supposedly backed by Iran, Houthi rebels, ran up in Sana'a last September and performed a house arrest on a Saudi-backed president. So last week, the US, UK, Germany, Italy, and Saudi Arabia pulled out of their posts in Yemen. They abandoned their diplomatic missions there. It's called for CIA to pull out dozens of personnel, including senior operatives who were working on Yemen's government against the so-called terrorists. It's automatically assumed that capitalism is the God-given norm. Their goal is the Christian Crusader goal, where they have to go and spread their, their idea of capitalism. They use every single statistic they can to their advantage and throw away everything else. Okay, so because the Houthis ran up in and took over this government, okay, so now Al-Qaeda is growing stronger because of this. Now in this article, they want to tie together these Iran-backed Houthis with Al-Qaeda. On Friday, Yemeni security officials had a set of suicide car bombers struck police headquarters in the central city of Baidai, which has recently been captured by the Houthis. So here's a police headquarters that was captured by the Houthis, and now there's a suicide bomber. The Houthis are the British and U.S. and Saudi enemy. Houthis overtook a police station. Next thing you know, there's a car bomb. These are car bombs. These are drones. Some external forces that's going to control a remote airplane with a bomb attached to it and then call it a suicide bombing and blame it on somebody else. What happened to ISIS? I thought ISIS was the most feared. This doesn't exist. And yet they all pulled them under the base because they wanted to use the Patriot Act to attack these groups. Remember the attack of Al-Qaeda and affiliates? So they had to categorize everybody as Al-Qaeda. Oh, war in Afghanistan and Iraq and all the millions of American lives and everybody else that died in Paris because of it. So they had to have some positive result out of it. And that was when the president stood up and said, we are degrading and we have destroyed. But wait a minute. Here comes ISIS. 